Today I'm sharing a wine box makeover using the all new Terra Clay Paint by Dixie Belle. Here's the salvaged wine box that I started with. I'm always a little hesitant to try a new paint on a piece of furniture without first getting a feel for it. So I played around with it on this salvaged wine box and I can't wait to share what this Terra Clay Paint can do. Let's start, here's the fun part. I didn't do anything more than give this wine box a wipe down. However, terra clay paint can be painted onto walls, floors, canvas, plastic, wood, tiles, glass, or pretty much anything you can imagine, so long as it's properly prepped. And the first step in prepping is always giving it a good cleaning. For my base color, I used Laney's Lagoon. And the first thing I noticed was the paint was very thick and very pigmented, which this is Fabulous. This is a good thing. I did notice that this Terra clay paint has a ever so slight odor. It wasn't a bad odor, but I did notice it did have a certain scent, but I'll be the first to admit I'm a scent sensitive person. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's the clay, but if any of you have tried this line, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, if you smelled anything at all. I used a premium chip brush to apply the paint as they suggest natural bristles uh, for using this paint rather than synthetic bristles. That said, I've seen many of my colleagues online using synthetic brushes to apply this terra clay paint and it seems to work really well. Uh, I also wanted to point out I'm really impressed with the coverage. Uh, I did use my spray mist bottle to thin out this paint on the first coat so it went on smoothly and it still covered the black text on the box really really well so it has amazing one coat coverage i waited a couple of hours for my first coat of laney's lagoon to dry and i actually used a heat gun to speed up the dry time as well and then i added my second coat and to create some texture and interest with these artisan paints I chose malachite green I hope I'm pronouncing that right I wanted to create a textured mottled finish and to do this I dabbed the green on using the same premium chip brush that I had used on the first coat uh, and I just added some green on, dabbed it on, and then to give it a softer look, I took my spray mist bottle, misted the green while it was still wet, and then dabbed at it with a shop towel. And I'll be honest, this was the ugly stage. <laughs> but I had a vision and I was sticking to it. So wait till you see how it all comes together at the end. You may have noticed I painted right over the hardware and this was to test the reactivation with the water property of this paint. Um, I kept on hearing that it reactivates with water and I just wanted to see how easy. So once the paint was finished and 100% dry, I took a little water on a shop towel and it very easily rubbed the paint right off the hardware. So if you were to use this artisan paint on anything uh, with glass, mirror, plastic, metal, it will come right off with a little water, even if it's 100% dry. I also tried rubbing the paint off the lip of the lid, and it did come off, but it stained the lip because this paint is so pigmented. So if you're painting on raw wood, as I am here, just keep that in mind. And before I get into the second part of this makeover, which is the transfer, so many of you commented on how you enjoyed seeing the fall leaves uh, here on last week's YouTube video. So today I'm sharing our trip to Niagara Falls. We stopped at the Niagara Gorge and the views are just stunning at this time of year because all the fall foliage. And because I'm only a 35, 40 minute drive from Ni Niagara Falls and I've been coming here since I was a little kid, I often forget how beautiful it really, really is. 
there's the Canadian side, which is the shape of the horseshoe. And then on the opposite side, you can see the U.S. Falls. And there's the bridge between Canada and the U.S. between the two. It's always a pleasure to visit. And we had a very lovely day. Uh, anyways, back to this wine box. I ended up using this gorgeous embroidered lotus transfer design. Because this box has so many grooves in it, I was using two hands and made sure to hold the design in place because it does try pulling up when you're using the corner of the applicator stick to press the transfer into the grooves while rubbing the transfer on. Uh, so just when you're using it not on a flat surface, remember to use both hands and hold it in place the best you can. Truth be told, I wasn't expecting this transfer to go on perfectly with all this grooved wood, but I wasn't really worried about it cracking in places. Uh, with the textured paint finish that I applied, the imperfect floral design just adds to the whole vibe of this textured wine box. So to finish everything off, it does require top coat and protection. And because Terra Paint reactivates so easily with water, it's important to protect your work with Terra Seal. Uh, I applied two coats and like most top coats, it goes on looking milky and it dries clear and hard. Uh, my thoughts on this terra clay paint, it feels like an artisan paint. It really does. And I'm impressed that it can be blended, layered, textured, and that it easily reactivates with water. Uh, it also comes in 18 highly pigmented colors, and it's made up of a natural clay base, so very, very low VOCs, which is great. So I'll definitely be using it on other projects. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying the other colors and uh, yeah, it's just a paint that you can have a whole lot of fun with. So here's the salvaged wine box before. And here's the salvaged wine box after. I can't wait to hear what you think in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. I'm putting out new video every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Also quick tips Wednesdays. So please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified with every new video. Uh, you can also follow me over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. And you can also find me over on all my socials. So until next week, I hope you have a fabulous week. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.